Hello there, everyone. My name is Jeannie Jem, and welcome to New Heights Wrestling. On this episode, we will see the very first defense of the New Heights Wrestling Women's Championship. Emily Locke won the title by defeating T Gaines in the finals of our title tournament, and now she is set to defend against Raven Knight. Raven earned this opportunity with a victory over J.C. Black at the Bulldog Bash. Right now, our cameras are with Raven Knight to get her thoughts as the challenger. Emily, 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 you got lucky last time. This time, it's for that newly won women's championship. And I will stop at nothing! Till I, no, no, we are the new New Heights champion. Because Emily, history will not repeat itself. Because I will stop at nothing to pick up that win and be your champion. Hey fans, it's the man they call Dave with producer Joe. And you probably know us as the commentary team for New Heights Pro Wrestling. But when we're not doing that, we got a podcast. That is the Working Fans Podcast, where we talk pro wrestling, comedy, MMA, and so much more. And tell them about that signature segment. Oh, you talk about the 531? You know I am. That is a homegrown creation that has been our namesake. And if you want to know our namesake, we got Chevy, AJ Strange Brew, as well as the two of us. And why don't you go to our uh, channel, like, subscribe, show us some love. Great review, all of it. Hey there, everyone. My name is Jeannie Jem. And if you're enjoying what you're watching here at New Heights Wrestling, please make sure you like, share, and subscribe here on YouTube. You can also find us on other forms of social media like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Be sure to share with your friends. Let them see all the exciting action that New Heights Wrestling has to offer. And then I want to hear from you. Put your comments down below. I want to know what you love about New Heights Wrestling. Thank you so much for checking out New Heights Wrestling. And remember to always stay sparkly. Check out the fast-paced action wrestling card game, Go Fight Pow! Create your own intergalactic fight club and play out the results of your own wrestling company, featuring over 100 unique characters and some of wrestling's hottest stars of past and present. The possibilities are endless. Visit gofightpow.fws.store and become a promoter today. The weather is heating up and so is the action as New Heights Wrestling presents Grand Slam on June 8th, 2024 at the Walton County Fairgrounds in Defuniac Springs, Florida. Show up early because doors open at 6 p.m. and bell time is at 7. General admission tickets are $8, $15 front row, kids 6 to 11 are $6, kids 5 and under are free. This has been by far the biggest year in New Heights Wrestling history, so come on out and see your favorite stars at a Grand Slam. That was a word from our great sponsors. Now back to G.D. Jim. Welcome back. Before the break, we heard from the number one contender to the New Heights Wrestling Women's Championship, Raven Knight. Raven is confident that she will get a victory here tonight. However, standing in her way is the current champion, Emily Locke. Emily has been training hard for her first defense of the title, and she is not going to let it slip away so easily. Before we get to the action, our camera crew is standing by with our women's champion. Let's first hear from the champ, then we will go to Joe and Dave at ringside for the first ever defense of the women's championship. Raven Knight, congratulations! You are the first to step in the ring with the first ever New Heights Wrestling Women's Champion. Now, I beat you once. I beat you before I became the New Heights Wrestling Women's Champion. And now the stakes are a little bit higher and I will do anything to keep this title. Women's Championship match in the New Heights Wrestling Division. Raven Knight, Emily Luck. It's the band called Dave. It's producer Joe from the Working Fans Podcast. And we are excited to call this action, as Joe said, women's championship match here. And the first defense of that championship by Emily Locke. She has been training. 
she has been honing her game, getting ready for this defense. This defense is a rematch from the semifinals of the tournament where Emily Locke defeated Raven Knight. Raven Knight defeated JC Black to get this opportunity here. And you have to have the feeling that T Games, no matter the winner, is going to have an eye on this match. There's a lot of women that are watching this right now. Very competitive division here at New Heights. And we have been outspoken about how excited we are about the creation of the Women's Championship, solidifying this division. Here she comes. Making her way to the ring with Lilith from Amityville. She practices the dark arts. That's Raven Knight. A little creepy, but hey, who are we the judge? A little creepy, but devastating. We saw what she did to JC Black. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. And you know, here's the thing, too. No matter what. Both these women, we've seen it in the past, right? We've seen them take their losses and come back and win. They're constantly improving, constantly evolving. Just because Emily Locke got that win in the semifinal doesn't mean she's gonna be able to do it again today. You've always said it, Dave, about the championship making you. What percentage was it, was it better? It was 30% better. I'm not good with numbers. <laughs> I'm just good with calling the in-ring action. You automatically improve 30% when you become the champion. So. That would, to me, give the odds favor to Emily Locke here, but Raven Knight, she's a wild card, you know? Just look at Emily's body language here, looking confident. She does. Getting the crowd behind her. You know, you're a champion now. You know that, you know? So, and the thing, with more title defenses she gets, she's going to get more and more confident and get harder to beat. Will this be the one and only, or will this be the first in a line of many defenses? Hey, I can play devil's advocate here. Raven Knight could be a trap game, right? Where she could pull off the upset because she has been getting better, and this is not the same Raven Knight that she wrestled before. So. Don't forget Lilith in the corner as well. I, I don't know how Lilith factors into this, but Raven refers to them as we. Crowd not responding to Raven Knight here. Raven had higher hopes. Well, they definitely love Emily. Emily's been everybody's new best friend since she got here. I feel like she's come a long way since being our new best friend, too. She's the head of our women's division, she's and let's a... see how this first title defense goes. Big lockup, side headlock. Might be our new best champion. I mean, Raven Knight gets to headlock now, like you were saying, in return here. Emily and... throws her into the ropes. Ooh, Ooh, big shoulder block from Raven Knight there. Tripped up. Emily's staying one step ahead of Raven here. And we're seeing some new facets to Emily's offense here now that she has been away training. Raven kicking out at one. Emily getting the people behind her. New Heights Wrestling has been, they were excited in the lead up to this women's championship, seeing all the big names in the tournament. JC Black was hoping for the spot to get this first title defense, but Raven, she wanted to respond to that loss in the tournament. Emily going for the pin. Two. Emily not letting it deter no, her though. She saw where she tried pinning Raven. Oh, there you go. Wow. Raven going for the bite. Jeez. Raven stooping to new lows this early. And look at that, putting that boot right in Emily Locke's throat. Emily struggling on the ropes. Yeah. Big forearm from Raven. I mean, Raven, you know, she got tipped her hand by biting. She is not. And now look at her look putting at that. that leg, putting that weight on Emily's also, neck there. That cannot feel good, Emily. No. Also messing with her hair and stuff at the same time. And look at this, every time that this happens, Emily is a little slower to get up. Hurting that win. Look at the psychological aspect of this too. 
she's effective. She's putting the knee on the side, but then playing with her hair, saying, look at what I got here. And this match is really playing into Raven's hands the more it's slowed down. Raven has Emily up on her shoulders here. Oh, oh big so drop! Going for that pin. Two, two and a half there. Emily starting to feel it in her back here. Raven talking that trash and then pounding on her back. You can just see Emily's face, she's in trouble. Yes, and she is struggling. Every time she tries getting up, Raven right on top of her, leaning on those ropes. But you know what, she did become a champion without getting in deep water, so she's been here before. Raven laying in some big, big shots right now, though. Ooh, that chop, you can hear that. Walton County Fairgrounds loving this match. Defuniac Springs, Ooh, Florida. Spine buster. Got both Little legs. Double A pin there, too. Oh, just, just sitting in kind of submission here. Oh, look at this. Hooking the arms. We've oh. seen this. Wow. Already punishing that back, that shoulder area of Emily Locke. Oh, look at Emily this. Emily rolling back. We're forced Raven to have to release that hold. And that's a smart move from yeah. Raven Knight. The more you affect that back in the shoulders, the more it makes it harder to kick up out of the pen. But also great counter by Emily because she wasn't going to get out of that. So she turned it into a pinning combination. Raven had to let go to hold. Big forearm from Raven going to the other side of the ring. Oh, big splash misses. Oh. Emily gets the roll up. One, two, three. Oh, two and a half. Big Ooh. Larry. That came from downtown. That just flattened Emily there. Not a lot of technique there. She just starts pounding on her. That's not pretty. That is effective. Those are fists. I'm a little shocked by how devious Raven's gotten in this match. Two big jawbreakers and a stunner. Raven knows that she had to get dirty. She had to get underhanded early to try and get the advantage on Emily. Emily has that exodus energy, and she will not be held down. You know what Emily says to a loss in this match? Mm. Sheesh. Get into her feet, up to a knee. That's that positive Raven's up to has. a knee. And here she comes. Run at her. Oh! Big double axe handle to the chest here. Again. And another one. Look at that smile. She is confident. She's feeling herself. She's getting ready to go here. Take this home. Oh, European uppercut. All that momentum. Maybe a little hip attack action. Oh, oh that is so devastating. Raven's head snap back. Oh, is she calling for a cannonball? Oh, she's calling her shots and she's hit off. This she saw conference. how dirty Raven was getting early and is responding with just a relentless assault of attacks. Oh, for oh! oh! Wow, takes her down face first. Raven could be out. It is not looking good for Raven Knight, too. Ooh. Two and a half! Raven Knight showing that perseverance himself here. Emily's starting to get a little tired. Emily hit yeah. Raven with everything she had, and it's still seeming to be just not enough. Oh, Whoa. ripcord! Raven stops at halfway Whoa. face buster! Raven turning over Emily now. Look at the movement. leg. Two, oh. two! Oh. There's that instinct. Looked like Emily was knocked out for a little bit there, but she just popped right up. Yeah, she's not moving too quick, but that's got to be instinct right now, just knowing oh. in the middle of the ring, hearing the hand Ooh. hit twice. We got a cross face here, Joe. She's got all that weight. She's pulling back on her. Oh, oh look at this. Look at that, Emily. Oh, yeah. Emily like, moving that positioning. She knows this is a championship mentality. She got this is the, the training rope. she's been putting in. Drawing from not only wrestling, but keeping mind of jujitsu, mixed martial arts, any little bit to help her game. All combat sports. Ripcord into a cutter. Oh, whatever you want to call it, call it effective. Two, three. Call it a win. Emily Locke wow. retains the women's championship. That 
was one heck of a first defense. You could see it on her face. She got pulled into deep waters. She took some punishment. Raven Knight coming with some submission holds in there. I think Emily was expected, but Emily persevered. She fought her way through, and here she is, her first offense in the books. Wow, great Emily, job. Emily Locke is setting the standard for this women's division, showing that if you're gonna come for the queen, you best not miss. Offering a handshake here. Raven shaking oh, the hand, boot to the midsection. Ooh. Well, you gotta remember, Raven's gotta go answer to Lilith after this loss. Whatever the voices are in her head, for sure. But right now, ref's gotta get her out of there. That was a cheap shot. Uncalled for. This might not be done between these two. But regardless, Emily Locke, even if she's down on that canvas, she's the champ right now. She retained that. Uh, I can't say enough good about that match, Steve. Look and you got crowd. Show her respect. And you got to feel that next challenger has to watch this match, has to study how Emily held on to that championship. Yeah. She's ready for all comers. You name it. And she's celebrating with her Heights, fans. New Heights Wrestling has an eye on Emily Lock. And if you want to keep an eye on Emily Lock, Watch New Heights Wrestling, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter. Most importantly, use that hashtag in HW Pro, and thank you for joining us. Have a good night, everybody.